Hello, how y'all doing today? Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to explain to you the proper way to clean the 1874 Sharps rifle. Like any firearm, after a shooting session, it's always best to clean the firearm after use, whether you're using black powder cartridge or smokeless ammunition. Proper gun maintenance should be a routine thing. And before you start to clean any firearm, it is a must that you make sure the firearm is unloaded. In the case of the Sharps, it is a falling block action. Hammer to half cock, drop the block. Now, there's the chamber. As you see, there is no cartridge in the chamber. So this firearm is ready to be disassembled for cleaning. Now, there's a, a through pin on the frame here. It's held in place by a spring-loaded plunger. Now, to remove that, plun that pin, you compress that plunger and pivot the pin lever down. And it just takes a pull. The block and the extractor comes out. Now after that is out, now you put the rifle in a rest. And the first thing you do, you run solvent down the barrel with a patch. And let it soak for five minutes. And after that, you take a bronze brush and 40 passes through the barrel to break up any fouling or any, if you're using jacketed ammunition, to break up the copper. But 40 passes is the norm. Then you run another solvent soaked patch down the barrel from the breech end, never from the muzzle. You don't want to take a chance of damaging the crown. And once you're done with that, you start running dry patches down the barrel with your ramrod until it cleans out, until the patches come out white. Then <coughs> you take a patch with a little bit of solvent on it, you wipe the frame down on the inside, any powder residue that may have made its way into the breech area. Once you got that cleaned out, then you can run an oil patch down the barrel. Remember, from the breech end, oil the inside of the frame, oil the outside lock, the hammer, all that. Then you turn your attention to the block. Now this is quite an unusual firing system. Your firing pin's here, but it strikes here. That firing pin is horseshoe shaped. It means it has an arm that comes out here, and you got the firing pin here. So when that firing when that hammer strikes that part here, there's your firing pin. See? Okay. You gotta make sure all that's clean. All you gotta do is wipe it down with solvent, clean that out. Then after that, oil it up, take the extractor, wipe it down, make sure it's oiled. Then all you have to do now is put all of it back into the action. Make sure the extractor goes on the right hand side in this groove. You start those in almost at the same time. It takes a little effort there. Let me turn that upside down here. There we go. Start 
start that in. Extractor. do this in reverse to try to show you. The way that works is when that hammer is dropped, when the block is dropped, it, act, it actually activates the extractor to pull a cartridge out. Because the way that extractor fits in there is like this. Just like that. It goes in like so. It's a timed affair. You gotta make sure you get it lined up just right. Disassembly is easy. Sometimes it can be a pain to put back, but it'll go in. Do it this way. There we go. like that. And pull it back out again. <laughs> okay, everything's lined up. Just give it a little twist. Work the pin back in. Bring it back around. Push the spring loaded plunger down. And everything's locked back in place. Now, while I explain to you about the extractor, see there's your extractor. When that comes down, now kick your shell out. Now if you give it a quick snap, it'll kick them out. Just like that. So, I hope you found this informative. And post like. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.